In the session, we'll be discussing about the second group of archaebacteria, which is halophiles. As the name suggests, files means loving, halo means saline. So such an archaebacteria live in high salinity. If you can discuss the details, they are present in extreme saline conditions. Now, you, if you remember, methanogens used to live in highly methane conditions and they live in high salinity. Now, they have very important pigment. It is like called bacterial rhodopsin. It is similar to the rhodopsin which is found in your eyes. So this pigment is little similar to the rhodopsin which is present in your eyes. And the pigment is called bacterial rhodopsin. And with the help of bacterial rhodopsin, the bacteria can trap sunlight. When it can trap sunlight, it can also convert the sunlight to ATP. But the fact is they cannot utilize this ATP for the food synthesis. The ATP for food synthesis cannot be utilized. So these type of archaebacteria, they are not autotrophs, instead of that they are heterotrophs. You remember that uh, methanobacteria we were talking about, methanococcus and methanobacterium, all those methanogens were chemoautotrophs. But halophiles are heterotrophs because they cannot use sun-driven ATPs for the food synthesis. Some of the halophiles examples are halococcus and halobacterium. So next session we'll be discussing about the details of thermoacetophiles.